and welcome to this new tutorial in this series. Um, in this tutorial, we will create a new class for our sprites. Um, first off, um, actually create a new group in your in your project and name it resources. For example, just yeah, name it name it resources. Okay, and and put the robot in it. Okay, just some organization now. Create a new file. So use the Objective C class template. Click on next and name this uh, sprite. Click next and create. Now um, let, let's create some uh, some public properties. So we know property. It's your it's your so throw and get through basically. So anatomic strong and in this one GLK texture info pointer to texture info. Yeah, okay. Then also let's create a new public method, and this will be our, our constructor. So our constructor is basically it has a uh, Always return type it in, in Objective-C and it is basically a pointer to any object. Hmm. And, uh, they usually start with init and then the arguments are always preceded that by a width. So width and then your arguments. So our arguments will be we want for now the effect and the actual texture info. So, uh, ID init with effect so double so a double point and then GLK base effect name this base effect and our second argument will be actually our texture info so and we'll change this, this later on so GLK texture actually no Let's just keep it uh, at effect for now. So ID and it's chill keeps, and yes, it's a pointer. So make sure that it's a pointer too. Then let's implement these. So first off, uh, let's again create our, our private interface. So interface sprite, again with the parentheses to indicate it's the private interface. And in this create a new property and in this property atomic and bring this a weak so a weak point where it has a, a weak reference to the object. And so yeah, if you know an object needs at least one strong to, to stay alive. And a weak basically um, it's just a reference, it does not keep the object alive. So, and, and this will be our base effect. So, just name this uh, GLK base effect, pointer to base effect. Okay, now let's implement our, our constructor. So, just type in your implementation section this time, init with effect. Okay, and now we also have to initialize our our super class, so to do that you type you make an if statement and in the condition of the if statement you do again a parenthesis and then you you type self equals super super in it and okay so basically we are saying uh, initialize the the super class so yeah the base class and then init it and uh, then return it to us to sell. And if this fails, this will be nil and this won't get executed. Okay. Now, inside our proper structure, uh, for now, just type self dot base effect equals base effect. Okay. Now, uh, also type. Now, um, 
let's just copy some code now. Actually, we will go to our view controller. And uh, yeah, now we just have to, we can copy and paste this. So the self.base effect, so basically, so the so self.base effect the picture ID dot name equals and the self.base effect the picture ID target. So we uh, we copy those two lines. Into a constructor of our of our uh, sprite class and just put self in front of the texture info. Now we also need uh, and also we have to return self and do that. So at the end of your constructor types, return self. Now we also need a a bit method and the and the render method. So in your public space type void render and void update. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was. That's a bit. Sorry for that. Um, so void. Update. Okay, what update and actually put render on top of void so, and void render. Now instead of render, uh, now actually we should take these two lines. And copy and paste them and put them inside of render. Because they actually should be there. And I'll explain this in another video, but yeah. Well, basically, it when we have multiple textures, we basically we need to explain to OpenGL what texture we are using every frame. So when we have multiple textures, it would add. That we have to specify the texture we are using, so that's why I put this in our render method. Okay, then call. Well, now actually go to your .m class, uh, to your to controller .m, and go to the glkview method, and and copy everything from there, and then go to, back to your sprite and you can just copy and paste everything inside it okay now um now go to your dot to your to, to your view controller and in here we can do a couple of things now first off let's just Uh, just copy and paste this, make this a little bit prettier. And just so our GL stuff is all of that, is, 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 is like get together. It just looks nicer. Then create a new property. Now, first off, uh, import the sprite class. So import sprite.h. Then let's create a new sprite. So type sprite pointer to sprite equals and name this uh, get for now. So get equals now again like always sprite alloc as and we and we inherit alloc from ns object. So if you actually look at uh, your declaration, you see it an interface sprite and its object. So here is our subclass basically. Yes. And every class in open in a objective C has to inherit right from an SO object. So sprite alloc in it with effect and just have self of effect. Self of effect, sorry. 
Okay. Now. And actually, let's make this let's make this a property <laughs> for now at least. So create a new property. Uh, no, don't make it strong again. Name this sprite. Name this cat, and then in your view that load just changes to cell dot cat. Okay. And then also cell dot cat. Dot texture info equals texture info. Texture info. Okay. Now, in your draw and rect, simply call it the render method. So, uh, use this time brackets. So, in Objective C for methods, so when you call a method, you usually use brackets. So, yeah, like this. So, cell dot get render. And also an update self dot get update. Yes, um, now we have a, a very, very basic sprite class. So in the next videos, we, we will extend this class a little, make it bigger. We will do, do uh, stuff like animation and touch. So, so, yeah, see you then. Bye.